congratulations on your getting your 990 years plus and this video i'll help you get going with 990 years plus i'll be making this video on the emulator that i use and i'll just pop out my display so that you can see it clearly so it is uh, like any of the previous uh, Cassie scientific calculator that has trigonometrical and algebraic functions and some advanced function as well so starting with the basic calculations for example 7 raised to the power 3 you easily know that some trigonometrical values for example cos of 60 degree 1 over 2 uh, you know your calculator display shows t that means the angle input is in degree if you would like to find out in radian or gradient you can push shift and set up to go to angles change you can change the angle so you can make it radian by pushing 4 and you can see the top display of the calculator changes to r let's calculate cos of pi over 3 pi is the button over here Hit shift divided by 3 and again 1 over 2 so you, you can change your calculator settings to radian by just going to shift and setup you have some more options there so just get used to it i'll just try to explain some of the functions there then uh, let's say you would like to find a summation summation is a button here hit shift and lock to get summation let's say the nth term here we'll put in the nth term in terms of x so we'll hit alpha and close parenthesis to get x and let's say it is x squared and uh, we would like to find out the sum of this series from 10th term until 25th term it equals to and you get the answer if you are not able to see it properly because it is getting pixelated right because this is dot matrix display so you can do summation here and then uh, this is the just uh, basic you know function i'm going to explain in this video i'll be making some more advanced videos in coming days let's say we would like to solve calc function so if we have let's say an equation like 2x plus 1 equals to 9 and we would like to find out the value of x we'll say solve shift and calc to solve solve for x it equals to and it gives you the value of x as well on the other side you can use calc as well so if you write like 2x minus 1 and you would like to solve this expression when the value of x is 7 for example you say hit calc you get the value of x is 7 it gives the value is 13 7 times 2 is 14 minus 1 13 so these are some of the basic functions there and uh, this calculator also has some constant in it and uh, you need to put in the constant number there so if you're using a real calculator there you can check out on the back of the calculator where it gives you so you can select two just for instance and you'll have to just type in you know zero two rather so i'll just really do that zero two oops let's say 22 and that is there right you can convert units as well so again you'll have to check out which kind of conversion you want to do it from back into calculator please remember don't lose the back of your calculator it's very important right so i just hit randomly so it's converting from meter minutes 
two miles. There you go. And what else you would like to see? You can see it's something there in setup. So you can see this drop down there. So that means there's some more functions like mix faction, complex numbers, statistics, display, etc. And then you have mode here as well. That is something very useful. So currently we are working in composite mode. Then you have complex statistics, base and equation, etc. So in our future videos, we'll be talking about that. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel so that you are informed of our new videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.